I've got another writing vlog today because hair in my face. No, <laughs> because I'm desperately trying to finish this novel that I've been writing for almost a year and I would like to be done. And I realize a year is not a terribly long time, especially since it hasn't been a full year yet. But I write very quickly and so it feels like a very long time for me. I mean, the longest book, I mean, the longest amount of time it's taken me to write a book prior to this um, was my book Dusty in my Robin Hood series and it took like eight or nine months and I thought that was a long time. So yes, I'm trying to finish this novel before I go completely insane. So that's what we're doing today. I'm very close to the end. Um, doing the 10K challenge that Mandy Lynn hosted was great um, and got me very, very close to the end. So I think, I, um, I wanna say I'll be able to finish today, but every time I'm like, yes, this writing session will get me to the end, it never does. So we'll see what happens. Also, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Mandy Grace. I'm an author, <laughs> if you can tell. I'm also being very weird right now. Cocoa first, candles, writing materials. Where did I, oh, there it is. Ugh, we need this. Okay, that's not gonna fit there. It's fine. I have my cocoa and my writing materials, some of which is down on the floor where you can't see it, but that's fine. Let's get into this. First, I have to turn on my computer, because that's a thing to do. Oh, my candles. Well, hold on. we got to light some candles. That's a necessary part of my writing process. Should we go with the classic candles or pull out the Christmas one? I tried to pull out the Christmas one for my last writing session, and it threw fit and refused to light, because I guess it thought September was too early for it to be on duty and doing its job as a candle. Rude. Is that banging? Like there's a ghost next door. But it's not a ghost. It's my niece. Here's my Christmas candle. Hadley. Go back to sleep. Shall we light it? I don't know why, but I really like fire. <laughs> that moment where it goes into flame. I was gonna make the sound effects, but I can't sound like a flame, so it doesn't really come on, just just get it. Light it. Light it. Ha! Do as you're told. Darn candle. Before you burn my finger off. Hey, we got two of them. That's a start. It's more than I got the last time I tried to light this candle. The Christmas candle is very persnickety. And it's like, hello, it's September. What is your problem, lady? I'm sorry, I'm obsessed with hot Christmas. Hot Christmas. Uh, <laughs> yep, how about we light from this angle and not burn my thumb off? That would be wise, Mandy. Let's try that, you genius. Okay. Well, now that I've been an idiot and burned my thumb, let's, uh... And yes, I did just kiss it to make it all better. Oh, I spend my days with toddlers. Don't judge me. Christmas candle. Let's do this. wrote a thousand words roughly just now. I'm not entirely sure the novel is done done um, simply because I already have a long list of things for the editing process lots of, like scenes to add or remove and things like that um, just notes I've made along the way that I know need to happen so it feels like it's not done but I think I am actually done with the first draft which is where I was trying to get to so I'm very pleased with that. I think this deserves a celebration of some sort. I don't know what that celebration would look like but I will be celebrating. And I guess now I have to prepare it for editing. Although it's going to have to wait um, with all the editing stuff. My ghost is back. Had to go to sleep. Anyway, um, what was I saying? This manuscript is going to have to wait on editing because the first book in this series, um, which I wrote two years ago, uh, is my first priority with editing because it will be the next one to be published so obviously I need it done before I need the one I just finished. That will be my project in the next coming months. We'll be editing Return to Sherwood, getting all of the character arcs and the 15 points of view and all the subplots and 
mm, you know, story points. I just ran into my hair. Anyway, getting all of that worked out and smoothed out and then off to my editors. And then I can focus on editing the novel that I just finished. Right now I'm just going to bask in the knowledge that I finished the first draft, even though I already know, like, so much that needs to be fixed. But it's fine. We will do editing later. I finished the first draft. Success.